Welcome to Thunder Bay Live. I'm here with Kendall Donahue. We're here today to answer a question that's been out there on Facebook and it has to do with Peterborough. I understand that Peterborough had a chicken bylaw and they reversed it. Yes. And there's a number of people that are saying uh, that it's due to all the infractions that were going on or whatever. Mm -hmm. Do you have information that can help those people out there understand what happened in that process? Right, so that's a really good question. It was certainly a surprise to me. I went online and looked at uh, some of the media around the Peterborough case and the, the reason that uh, city officials gave or city admi um, city council gave as to why they were refer reversing that decision um, was because of concerns over public health and specifically salmonella and I, I kind of not that salmonella is a light issue, but kind of chuckled to myself because um, it um, salmonella is a, is of course um, uh, is of course a risk factor with backyard hens. In fact, um, it's something that um, many hens carry in uh, commercial settings as well, which is why um, uh, commercially produced eggs are, are washed, and it's why you, um, you know the health unit recommends that you cook eggs thoroughly, and it's also why um, you're supposed to cook chicken all the way through. So. I mean, the, the medical officer of health in, P in Peterborough also, um, this was not a decision that, that or a recommendation that came um, from their medical officer of health. They said that there's, um, of course, um, you know, reasonable ways that you can mitigate the risk, uh, hand washing and washing eggs. And so, it, you know, it seems like a, uh, a pretty simple fix and, and maybe there's some, some other things that are going on there. Um, uh, they also are looking at leashing cats, so maybe there's a, there's maybe some uh, general um, issues with, with animals that, that isn't being uh, presented to the media. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, and, and I would also mention that there's a, an article that came out in Edible Ottawa. So this was um, um, something that came out uh, just a, a month or two ago, and it was a story on Kingston. And so they um, they deliberated uh, chickens as well a couple of years ago, and they put in place a pilot project. And um, uh, to council's um, uh, surprise, they were uh, they've they've received. Uh, virtually no complaints and it's something that's worked very very well they had many of the same concerns that um, that people in Thunder Bay are expressing understandably uh, wildlife uh, didn't materialize in uh, Kingston as an issue uh, health and safety issues again didn't materialize uh, and so I think that there's a, a pretty good case to be made based on the experiences of other cities uh, which is what we looked at uh, numbers of complaints um, uh, and uh, the, the evidence from a health perspective that this is something that is very uh, workable, manageable uh, in a city like Thunder Bay. You mentioned the word pilot project. Sure. What do you think? Um, I think it's it's an option. I think uh, it, it was one of the options that was presented to council on Monday night, uh, something to consider. Um, I think that also it's um, uh, just to recognize that there is an investment that people have to, to yeah. make into into putting a structure on their yard, and so um, it you know could also be considered unfair to have to do that, uh, take it away later, and to remove birds at a later date. But it you know it's an it's an option. Okay, thank you, Kendall Donahue, uh, with the food strategy here today to answer that question that was out there on Facebook, and I'm glad you came to address that so people know the real story behind that decision. Thunder Bay Live, once again, answering any questions you have. Get a hold of us at info at thunderbaylive.com. Have a terrific day and keep watching for further episodes. Thank you, Kendall, once again. Thank you. Always a pleasure. <laughs>